So you're thinking about moving to Woodland Hills in the San Fernando Valley, but you're not quite sure where it is. What does it have to offer you? Is it good for raising a family or retiring? How long does it take to get into the city? What are the crime stats like? The schools for your kids? Today, in this video, I'm gonna be answering all those questions, telling you how much the homes are worth. What can you get for a million dollars? What can you get for two or three million dollars? If that's what you're looking for, come on, let's go. Right now I'm at the village, a really great outdoor mall in Woodland Hills. It's kind of got everything really. If you've got the young kids, they can run around. You've got the restaurants and bars and really great shopping. It's one of the better malls, if you ask me. Now, Woodland Hills, population 70,000. It's really going places. To be honest, Woodland Hills has always been great. It's always been pretty well known, maybe because it's famous neighbor of Calabasas, just next door where a lot of celebrities live, including the Kardashians. But Woodland Hills, is it a hidden gem? Is it, does it go under the radar? Maybe not, a lot of people know about it, but maybe not enough people know about it. Amazing schools, great crime rates. The homes are affordable, and if you're looking to get into the city, it doesn't take you as long as you think. You're about 30 minutes to Santa Monica and Culver City, about 35 minutes to Beverly Hills, 40 minutes to downtown LA, and if you need to go to the airport, you're only about 45, 50 minutes away. So as you can see, the location of Woodland Hills is pretty good. You've got the 405 freeway going in north to south. You've got the 101 east to west. Plus, you've got lots of other little streets that can take you to uh, Malibu, to the beaches, or wherever you want to go, really. So in terms of location and getting to places, it's pretty good. All right, I'm sure you're here because you want to see what the homes are like. Where does your money go? Let's go check out some homes, some neighborhoods, and see what it's like to live in Woodland Hills. Follow me. I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke. I'm a local realtor. And if you are looking to make a move to LA, just give me a call. I'm always happy to help. I made the move from London, so I know what it's like to make a big, scary move from another state or even another continent. Hope to hear from you. Okay, first stop, I wanted to bring you to this neighborhood. It's about two miles away from where we just were at the mall. And it's your quintessential Woodland Hills neighborhood. Homes ranging from about 1 million to 1.25 million, three, four bedrooms. You're looking at 1,300 to 1,800 square foot. Now, Woodland Hills is about 15 square miles. To put that into context, Santa Monica is eight square miles. So it's almost twice as big as Santa Monica. Now, if you're looking just to get on the market, whatever it takes, you can get a one-bedroom condo for about $400,000, a two-bedroom condo for about $500,000. And if you're looking to buy a home, a fixer, for example, say 1,200 square foot, you can get on the market for around $650,000, which isn't bad for Los Angeles, obviously. However, a good budget, if you're looking for a three-bed family home in Woodland Hills, a good budget really is between $1.1 1.3 million it opens up a lot of different opportunities for you different types of homes and that's what i'm going to be showing you right now one thing i love about this neighborhood woodland hills look at this no street parking when you're in los angeles i know people getting tickets weekly it can cost you hundreds even thousands of dollars over the course of a year woodland hills no street parking your friends can show up park you don't have to worry every thursday or friday morning to move your car at 8 a.m love that so as you can see most of the homes are bungalows single story built in the 1950s there's nothing special about them you know um, obviously a lot of building is happening in woodland hills people moving in buying a fixer like this for example <laughs> for say eight hundred thousand dollars spending two three four hundred grand and making a beautiful home but if you're buying into the quintessential woodland hills house it's gonna kind of look like this. Some people might love it, some people might hate it. I don't mind. One thing you do notice right off the bat though is the curb appeal, the pride of ownership. Every home is well manicured. You can tell people have gardeners or look after themselves. I've just walked past several houses where they, uh, the gardeners are out. Oh, let me walk the other way, the sun's in my eyes there. Uh, the gardeners are out making it look nice and beautiful. So that's one great thing. When you're moving into a community, don't just look at the house you're buying. Look at the houses around it. Look at the neighborhood. If it looks in good shape, if your neighbors are taking care of their homes, that's a good sign. The home's going to appreciate. That's what we want. 
It just has a good vibe walking around this neighborhood. I see why people, they have families, maybe when they're young or they've just got married, they've got no kids, they want to live down in LA and live the LA life. But then once they have a family, they're like, you know what? We need a little bit more space. We want to move somewhere a little cleaner, a little safer, really good schools. I totally understand why Woodland Hills is on their radar. It has that vibe. You're walking around, people are friendly. It's October as well right now, end of October. Look at this weather. If you're thinking about moving from out of state to California, take a look at these skies, take a look at this weather. It's quite spectacular if you ask me. And it's time for a quick pet talk. I had someone come in from Texas last week, looking at houses, fell in love, made an offer, and then freaked out. Kind of changed their mind a little bit, and I totally understand it it can be really daunting. So before you book your flight, before you pay for a hotel and come and spend a week in Los Angeles, sit down, talk to your kids, talk to your spouse, talk to your friends and family. Is it the right thing for you? Of course it's gonna be daunting, but give me a call. I went through this process. I moved here from England 15 years ago and I've never looked back. I have no regrets, I absolutely love it. So give me a call if you want to talk about it. If you have any questions, I know what you're going through. I hope to hear from you. And also, if you're looking to retire, you've had enough, you want to relax, you want a bit of peace and quiet. You don't want oodles of people running around. If you live in Beverly Hills, for example, or West Hollywood or Santa Monica, you just want it to be a little bit quieter. Well, come and check this place out too. If you want to still be near the beach, you might think Woodland Hills is too far away. Really, if you want to get to Malibu Beach, like I said, Santa Monica is 35 minutes away, depending on traffic, obviously. But if you're thinking about going down to Malibu Beach as well, you can get down there in less than 30 minutes. There's plenty of different routes as well. So if you're looking to retire, you want to buy a bigger house, or maybe you're downsizing, you want to get out of the city, Woodland Hills is also an excellent place to take a look at. Like I said, there's real trendy restaurants and bars, things to do. You've got all the canyons for the hiking and the uh, outdoor activities and you're not far still from Beverly Hills, from Hollywood, from the beaches. But whether you're a young professional, single, there's lots of bars here and uh, things to do, or a young couple looking to raise a family or retiring, Woodland Hills needs to be on your radar. It's better than you think if you ask me. And I know roads might not be a sexy subject, <laughs> but when you're moving into a neighborhood, look at the roads. Do they have potholes in them? Have they had any work done? If they haven't, you know it's a neighborhood that maybe the city's not paying that much attention to. However, you look at these neighborhoods in Woodland Hills, guess what? The roads are in perfect condition. That is a great sign. Also, they're wide. Like I said, it kind of reminds me of a little bit of Orange County. Wide roads, what does that mean? Less congestion, easier to get everywhere. Once again, that's another plus. As you can tell, it's Halloween right now. Lots of homes here have a Halloween decorations outside. And if you ask me, that's probably a sign they have kids. And considering that most of the homes have Halloween stuff outside, I think that just shows it's a really family orientated neighborhood. The schools are excellent in Woodland Hills. Very rarely hear people complaining about that. And if you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe. I do videos every week on what it's like to live in LA County. If that's what you're looking for, hope to see you in my next video. And guys, I know everyone knows the weather in California is great. It's so boring when I watch videos and everyone's pro number one, the weather. We all know the weather's good but it is exceptional. I think it might be even better than you think if you're coming from out of state. 75 degrees right now, end of October. It's probably gonna be like this for the rest of the year. So if you do want outdoor activities, get the kids off the iPad, you and your wife wanna go for a nice walk or bike ride, you can pretty much do it all year round. You're not snowed in, there's no hurricanes coming. People always say, oh, well, there's earthquakes in California. I've been here 15 years and I don't think I've seen one earthquake that caused any damage whatsoever. So I know people talk about the weather. I know it's a kind of boring subject, but guys, oh, it's pretty damn good, especially when you're coming from London like me. Okay, is your budget more around 1.8 to $3 million? What can you get with that price point? Let's go check it out right now. Okay, so this house is two and a half million dollars. It's just a short two minute drive away. Four bed, four bath, third of an acre, 2,500 square foot. And take a look at this lovely kitchen. 
open concept. Look at this bedroom, really huge with the big doors, ensuite bathroom and closet, really, really nice. 2.5 million, it's only been on the market five days. I'm really interested to see if it sells for that much. As you can see, there's a lot of work being done. This neighborhood, a lot newer homes. Like I said, a lot of homes are being bought that have been lived in for 30, 40 years, being completely remodeled down to the studs. You've got the basketball net up. If you ask me, that's always a sign of a family-friendly neighborhood. Also, the Warner Project Center is being created. It should be completed by 2035. It's on an 1,100-acre site. Restaurant, shops, retail, business. Really going to um, energize the neighborhood, if you ask me. Jobs as well. Really think it's going to be good for house prices appreciating. Plus the LA Rams are building a practice facility in Woodland Hills. That's got to be great. You've got those American footballers with the huge salaries buying homes in uh, Woodland Hills. Once again, can only be good for the area. It's not a very diverse neighborhood. About 80% of the population is white. Obviously Los Angeles is known for diversity. Um, all people doing work. I always seem to turn the camera on when people are about to work on their homes. So maybe you can hear that. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's a very white neighborhood. Also, it can get hot in Woodland Hills in San Fernando Valley. It's about 15 degrees warmer uh, than if you live in Santa Monica, Brentwood, or a lot of Los Angeles, to be honest. So um, if you don't like the heat, maybe Woodland Hills is not for you. When it's 85 degrees in Santa Monica, it'll be 95 to 100 at Woodland Hills. So remember that during the summer, it can get hot here. And if you're thinking of moving to Beverly Hills or Bel Air, Brentwood or the Palisades, you've got a budget of $10 million. If you're thinking about buying a seven, 8,000 square foot monster house, guess what? Woodland Hills has that too. And they're about three and a half million dollars. So if you do want that massive house, but maybe you don't have the massive budget, check out Woodland Hills. There's a home that sold here last year, 9.75 million. So there's some really spectacular luxury homes here as well. It definitely has that feel of a suburb though. If you're like, I don't want to move to the suburbs. It's going to make me feel old and boring. Woodland Hills does have that vibe. Um, not much traffic where I am right now. Spot another person. <laughs> not many people around. So yeah, it's definitely a little cookie cutter. It's definitely suburbia. But if that's what you're looking for, raising a family, Wooden Hills offer that to you in spades. And crime, obviously, whether you're looking to retire or raise a family, crime is probably top of the radar. If you take a look here, it's way below the national average. And to be honest, Woodland Hills crime rate is better than pretty much anywhere else in Los Angeles. So if that's important to you, Woodland Hills, pretty good on that level. And also the schools, raising a family. A lot of people, when I talk to them in LA, the school system sometimes get a bit of a grumble. Yes, private schools in Los Angeles, obviously excellent, but they're a lot of money, 30, 40, $50,000 a year. If you're looking for a good public sector, take a look at Woodland Hills, go on niche.com, review the schools. I always say, don't ask me when it comes to schools. Yeah, ask me if it has a good school district, but when it comes to the schools, different people want different things. So do your research, read reviews on the neighborhoods, but Woodland Hills as a whole, great schools for all age groups. Don't know about you, but I'm really loving some of the drought resistant front yards right now. Obviously, it's good, a lot of people like grass, but the sprinklers are on all the time keeping it green. This drought resistant yard right here, how beautiful that is. Doesn't require any water. Really, really nice. You may have the grass on my front yard, the sprinklers are going, I kind of feel bad to be honest. This might be my impetus, drought resistant people. I always talk about front doors, how I think front doors make a huge difference. It's the first thing people see when they, went, when they walk up to your house. So if you are thinking about selling your house, maybe you paint it, you put a new roof on, you stage it, you make it look great. But if it's got a bad door, trust me, it makes a difference. A new front door might only cost you 500 bucks. Definitely worth it. Take a look at these monster homes. This one here is just for sale right now. Six million dollars, nine bathrooms, 8,000 square foot. So yeah, if you are looking for a monster home, obviously there are a lot more new builds in this neighborhood. Kind of more what you see in Beverly Hills, Manhattan Beach, the white with the wood, it's all the rage right now. 
yeah, you want to live in woodland hills and live in a mega mansion, they got you covered. So what I've noticed in this area of woodland hills with the big expensive homes, Woodland Hills is known for big lots. It's very common to get a third of an acre lot, 10, 12,000 square foot at least. In LA, for example, five, 6,000 is kind of common. So what you do in the old days, you had a nice 1,500, 2,500 square foot home on a big lot to enjoy the yard. What people are doing now is they're buying these homes, they're knocking them down. They have third of an acre, half an acre, and they're, they're building a gigantic, monstrous home which takes up almost the whole lot. So that's why you're getting these really big homes in Woodland Hills right now. So if you want a bigger home, but not necessarily the biggest backyard, that's kind of the vibe right now in Woodland Hills. If you're looking to live outside the hustle and bustle of the city, Woodland Hills has to be on your radar. It's pretty easy to get anywhere, to be honest. The schools are great, the neighborhoods are great. I'm really loving this vibe. Lots of greenery, you can do outdoor activities with the kids or your spouse. It should be on your radar. You want good shopping, it has it. You want good schools, you want good restaurants, it has it all. So Woodland Hills, I don't know if it goes under the radar a little bit, but Woodland Hills is an exceptional place to live. To be honest, it doesn't really have any cons and you should check it out. Call me if you want some help.